All righty. It's a late one on the East Coast. It's midnight. And my sleep schedule was off last night. So I ended up waking up at 1.30. I had some stuff I had to do here in the workshop. So I came down and did it. Which means, you know, that means when I pour, I have to wait for it to cure. So trying to do it a couple hours before I should so it'll be a little bit pliable but I just have to lay them flat after I open them up so that they finish curing flat um, I had them by my heater on my molds so they were kind of like really soft so I just put them outside in the 27 degree weather to get them a little bit cold and stiffen them up a little bit for me so I'm going to grab them in a few minutes, but first I wanted to show you, this is the fifth Super Sparkle silicone mold that is in the line of my Super Sparkle molds. And um, it took me a while to design this guy or gal, but it's a gem skull. And uh, see, it's got gem eyes, gem nose, gem for the teeth. So I was thinking about it, and I mean, unless you're going to do all one color and fill them all the way in, if you wanted to do the eyes and the nose and the mouth differently, obviously you have to do those and then wait for them to dry and then do your full, your full one. I made this, I made this one uh, a little deeper than my other ones. So... Yeah, he took he took a little while for me to get them all squared away. Um, so tonight I'm gonna I'm just gonna do clear in it for the first one. Um, I just like to see how sparkly they get like that, and then I have another cluster and another cluster. That I have to pour. We're going to unmold a couple. Um, these are all one of a kind because they all, you know, they fall apart each time. So they have to be remade. So I do all these made to order for people. So um, some, some of like these kinds of molds are okay. Like, you know, I can do them rather quickly, but the crystal clusters, you know, they fall apart each time. So they have to be remade. So. If you're interested in seeing, I have about 15 molds up now on my website, which is LeakRanchCreations.com. It's the same name as the YouTube channel, but it's a .com. And there is an online store and shopping cart on there now. Uh, all the molds are in the shopping cart. Uh, some of the pendulums are in there. And uh, I still have PayPal buttons for my coasters and my earrings and stuff because I have well over a hundred items that I have to get transferred over, but I've been really busy like filling orders and making molds and doing castings and stuff. So I do a little bit each night. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get the other stuff into the shopping cart, but you can always use the PayPal button. If you don't see a button for the amount that you need, you just send it to, um, go to PayPal and do green juice mystic M Y S T I C at gmail.com. And you could send your payment that way. If you're in the United States, send $7.90. And if it all doesn't fit in the one shipping flat rate box, I'll send you an email with an invoice for the next size box up. If you're in another country, you could send the $7.90 and I will send you an invoice with the difference on what it's going to cost to ship to your country. So... I'm going to go grab the box and hope that the molds have cooled down because I had, they were pretty hot by that furnace. So give me a second.
All right, so there's no bears out there right now. Hopefully they're all still hibernating. I know it's getting, uh, gonna be getting nice out soon. We are at springtime, but it's still pretty darn cold here. My husband saw, um, what did he call that? I almost wanted to say a mercat. It's, um, a fisher cat. Is that what he said? It looks like a bear, but on four legs. He said it was like four or five feet long. He saw it on the side of the road going to work the other morning. He's lived here all his life, and he said it's the first time he ever saw one in person. You can hear him screeching in the woods. But... Okay, so I had... Um, Put a couple things in my pressure pot, but my pressure pot, um, it has one more leak that I have to fix in it. So it's given me a little bit of problems. So I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to pour in that tonight. I have, I've been putting resin on my leak, so this should be the last leak that I have to worry about. So what I wanted to unmold was one of the, uh, new little clusters and all these clusters that I'm making I don't think I can get this out yet I think this is gonna have to get harder because I don't really want to ruin it I might be able to wiggle it out yeah I think I can wiggle it out so um, these clusters that I make these are the ones that are all one of a kind these aren't the same as my bigger ones where I can put them back together easily these little ones you can't you can't get these back together. They all have to be custom, like remade. So someone had asked me about doing tiny ones, little ones. So this is, I've already listed these two molds up and they're both being sold together. So it's going to be this little guy, the small one and the medium. So they're both listed up right now together. And I know it's late. I really don't expect anyone to be watching. But we have our giveaway coming up on the 4th. Which is exciting. I find it exciting to be able to give my creations to people who've applied for them. So I really did get a quite a lot of well, for me, it's quite a lot. We're celebrating 200 subscribers, and I think I'm, I've am i gotten uh, 25 or 30 people. So that's a lot for me. I'm grateful. So this is sticking a little bit. Like I wrote um, on the website, if you didn't like the base of these crystals you see how I have the little base on them if you don't like that part you could take a really sharp razor knife and you can actually cut straight down like you're cutting an orange or something and cut a portion of that base off so that you just have more or less like less base and uh, mostly crystal because if you're doing a, a geode with these you might not want as much base so you can always trim the end of that mold off. It's totally up to you. But these have, uh, these shine around the bottom of it, so. And what I did was I made these ones, but I actually was making them for my food grade molds. I was making clusters for the food grade molds, so I just thought I'd make a few for the resin and epoxy world. So these are coming out um, two hours before they're supposed to be. So that I have to re... Uh-oh. So this is probably why you wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> okay, so this will be the reason why you don't want to unmold 
the epoxy before it's supposed to. It stretched that one. I mean, that's how long it actually is. Let me see. All right, it stretched it a little bit. It did stretch it a little bit. And there's like no way to like scrunch it back down there. That's hysterical. What a knucklehead, right? But if I lay it on its side and I let it dry like that, that's still going to look like okay. Now these are a little bit elongated from pulling this out before it's time. But you see there's sparkles around the bottom. So I don't recommend taking things out before they're supposed to. But I do want to lay this so I could get that to dry sticking up. Because these would be my crystals from my shelf. And I'm okay with that. You know, just as I was pulling it out, that thought came across my mind. What if the, it didn't come out and they stretched? So I'm trying to think of where... Okay, you know what? I could lay it over here. I don't know if you could see that. But I have a, a glue melter over here that has a little indent. And I can lay the base down in there. I could probably heat that up, too, if I had to remove it. But that's even. I don't want all these other ones. Yeah. Yeah, I don't recommend undoing... I was supposed to wait 24 hours, and I definitely am two hours early. So I hope I don't screw up the rest of my stuff. It's just I have to get to bed because I have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I wonder if I just lay it on the desk. We'll just lay it down. Okay, so... What did I do with the other one? So these are the two molds. And usually uh, I give the weights of my molds. So the big one, medium one, is 1.25 ounces. And the little one is 0.30. And I'm assuming that's correct. Let me see what it says by grams. So this is 42 grams and that is 10 grams. Okay, I'm just, just didn't seem like much there. So those two molds are listed on the website and they're, um, it clearly states, you know, what's going on with those. So let's see. I think I might be okay with opening up these molds. So this is actually going to be the back. The Super Sparkle Crystal is part is on the front of it. Got a, some ASMR going on. I love these molds. So I tried putting a little bit of black glitter to make an eye on the on the unicorn. But I put white, titanium white from Epoxy Candy on there. And I used two types of gold. I used Gold Rush from Smooth On and I used Gold Dust from Stone Cove Countertops. And then that was a little bit of that Just Resin Sparkle, sparkle um, black glitter of theirs. And on the back, I put a little drop of the blue, hoping that it would go through. That's kind of cool looking. I just, you know, I was messing around, seeing, seeing what I could do with, with the molds that I created. Here is, um, this is a mix of, uh, a couple drops of spruce spruce green, a couple drops of uh, teal peacock, and teal crystal shimmer tint from Epoxy Candy is in this one. I 
and this is the super sparkle mold and that's what it looks like with and I mixed a little bit of the gold leftover gold in the bottom of the thing in there so that's a super sparkle mold um, a couple people are getting these put in their boxes Yeah, um, there's people that ordered, you know, like three or four molds at a time. So I'm throwing in a little Super Sparkle mold. This is, it's called, uh, I call it Marvelous Blue. It was an epoxy paste that they hadn't released and they had me test it out. And I don't know if they came out with it and released it yet or if they, you know, what they're calling it. But that's damn pretty. That is real nice. If you could see that. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. And these super sparkle molds. Let's not throw them on the floor. Okay. They are gorgeous. They are so beautiful. They're so much more sparkly and beautiful in person. I can, you know, you, you know how that goes if you're a resin person. You can't do them justice on on film and camera. But these are so beautiful. I wish I had time I could make some geodes on canvas because that was my whole point on how I got started in doing this. Mold making turned into something else and now I don't have the time. But it's okay. I'm enjoying it a lot. I really am. And this is just my flat, little flat gems. And I put the gold in there. A uh, little leftover um, of the gold that was left in the bottom of the cup. Gives it a little sparkle. They came out kind of cute. I have to pour some more of those molds. I only have a couple of these. I had given a couple of these to some of the other ladies who were ordering. Okay. Let's do the heart next. Hello, whoever's watching. All I could see is a number one, so please forgive me. Okay, so. Little ASMR. That is red crystal shimmer tint. That's got the Swarovski crystal shimmer tint in there somewhere. But that is my super sparkle mold. And that is the heart. And you see how big that is. And they're thin, so they don't take a whole lot of resin to do this, which is nice because, you know, if you wanted to make window decorations or, you know, whatever creation you could come up with to put this beautiful um, heart in or unicorn in or mermaid tail or wings in, it's not, you don't need much. So that came out really beautiful. Super happy about that. And then there's some of my mermaid glitter stuck on there. Ah, uh, so these are my angel wings. Of course, this is the back. So I took the two types of gold that I had mixed together and 
tried to keep them just on the edges. I wanted to outline it, and I didn't wait for it to dry, so it could look really messed up when I pull these out. But then I put that uh, teal and the shimmer tint teal from Epoxy Candy in the middle of it. I'm glad I put these outside. It stiffened them up a little. That came out pretty cool. I like to go around all the edges and loosen them and try not to just rip it right off. And I give a very light dusting. I hold I hold my mold release like a foot away from what I have in my hand and I just spritz it super quick and it just gives it a mist. You don't want to use too much or you'll lose your sparkle. Some people don't realize that but that's what happens. So I don't know how would these look best. Would you like them like that? Well, any way you want to do it, they are pretty. And that gold really looks pretty. Very cool. So when you take these out of the molds, you need to lay them flat for a day or two and let them really cure flat on a very flat surface. So you could put a hole in them and hang them. I have a couple ideas, I just don't have time. So here is the mermaid tail one. And this time, uh, at first I had used the teal colors down in the bottom and did some streaks with, with the gold, but it ended up sinking. And then I used the uh, Marvelous Blue. And uh, you know how resin is. It just starts mixing together. You could design all you want, and it's going to do what it wants. So like I did with the first one, I put some of the, the Mermaid uh, glitter from Michaels on there, and then I put the thick glitter so this would be the back and again the website's lacrangecreations.com right now these molds are on sale and they're not going to go back on sale this is the sale for me releasing them and they will not go back on sale after this um, that's a lot of resin, uh, silicone that I'm using to make these, and these are my designs, and when they go off sale, they're not going back down. Right now, they are 35 a piece, and they will not be 35 a piece ever again, I can tell you that. So, just a word to anyone who might have an interest. So, the gold came through. Let's see. The gold, all the gold came through. There's none on the back, but everywhere I put it on the other side, it came through on this side. So I had made scales on the back with the gold, but, you know, the gold's heavier than, than anything else. It's actually very pretty. And since this is so thin, obviously it was going to show. I just wasn't thinking about that. So it just, <clears throat> like when I put the, the glitter on them, they just need to be like trimmed. Just trimmed on the edges, you know, just to get where the glitter stuck 
to the resin there and then trimmed off. So they just get laid flat. The unicorn, um, I really like. I, I want to do it in like purple and pink and and even, I don't even, you know, I just did this for, you know, you know what, and giggles, right? So this can be painted later on with this, with the pinata. Could be, you know, glazed on there or, or you could even gold leaf on top of that to do that. But I was just fooling around because I made too much uh, liquid epoxy last night. And I have a habit of, um, you know, I, I don't, I'm not good at doing the measuring thing. Gee, how much do I need? I always end up with too much. So I was kind of grabbing everything that I had near me <laughs> to use up. And I rather enjoy that too. But it is a long process. You know, I had like that much... I probably ended up with that much extra in a cup. And that is a lot of resin to pour in these little molds. So I had about six or seven of these with just a little bit in it, mixing different colors. And I mean, I love it, but it keeps me up half the night when I start doing that. And I've been trying to get to bed earlier. So I did some of these... Uh, the rounds for the jewelries. Um, these were my first molds. And um, since making these ones, um, I've gotten better at making them. So these are just mine. And the I have some that are like I'll make to order ones. I found out how to do them the perfect way. So these ones I just fool around with now. And uh, when I get my table grinder and buffer, I'll be able to... Um, put my respirator on and grind some of the more thicker areas down and then make everything really smooth and nice for when I make them for jewelry to sell. So this one is uh, the Super Sparkle Round. So this one takes a little bit of finagling to get that centerpiece out because it grips. There we go. So there's the mold. And then I poured, I had some leftover uh, glitters in, in the bottom of a cup. And I just kind of poured it around the center from the back. And it all sunk in and it all just went into where those looks like, looks like druzies. So these are also for sale on the website. So as you can see, I've gotten pretty good at, at doing the, the molds now. Um, I'm a fast learner. So this is some more of the Marvelous Blue. Which I will have to ask them if they did anything with that at Epoxy Candy. A little bit of gold. Oh, a lot of gold. A lot of gold went into this one, I could see. And sunk through. But that does look pretty. see that it's pretty blue so it's got the blue background with the two types of gold that's pretty I like that you end up when you're trying to use up resin and you're tired you end up doing all kinds of things you might not normally do so there's the that's a pair if someone were into huge earrings. It's funny because I made a <laughs> I made a bunch of earrings to sell and I noticed that I was making earrings that I would have wore back in you know, back in the day. I have really long hair, so I made earrings that were like like this long because I'm used to princess style earrings, like the Indian style earrings and long earrings from the disco era and then from the 80s era and I th and I <laughs> realized a lot of people were asking for little little tiny earrings and I'm like oh, I don't do tiny earrings <laughs> so I did end up with some charm earrings that I made um 
there's a few short like skull earrings, but a lot of my earrings are dangles because that was that was my style. You know, that was that was my thing. So I, I would make things that I liked, you know. So next time I get making a rounds of earrings, I'm gonna have to work on making some little short ones and stuff. I got a kick out of myself when I realized that um my one girlfriend, she's six foot tall, she loves the long earrings. So I guess one day she's gonna end up purchasing some of those. I always think of her when I look at them and I laugh because I have some that are literally <laughs> like five or six inches long. Oh, I crack myself up. So uh, here's a little guy that I have. Oh, that made a cool sound. Sounded like a bird chirping. This is a dull finish. This has to be glazed a little bit because this was um, a little stone was like um, an old ceramic surface. Right? Isn't he cute? Got a little gold in there with him. He's so cute! So yeah. I mean, if, if someone were to ask for him, I, I would definitely do some molds. Uh, maybe I will list the mold up, but everything's pretty much made to order uh, because I'm uh, the extreme high cost of silicone is why I can't just make a bunch of these and a bunch of that. I have to wait till someone puts an order in because it is so ungodly expensive for that stuff. Unreal. I just I still can't get over it, but I end it, it's something that I like doing now and I'm looking for something to put the pieces of this this little fondant mold here. This is not a mold of mine. Um I may make I may design one though. Don't be surprised. So I did the unicorn horn with the golds. Oh, look at that. That turned out so sweet. I love it. And then the little ears. Oh, how cute. I'm going to have to carve a mold like this. I think I'm going to have to make it a little bigger, though. You know me. I make things big. And this would be the tricky part, right? Look at them little freaking eyelashes. So cute. I could sell the little, um, these little resin pieces, though. That came out so cute. That's just adorable. Oh, where did I get this mold? You know, I'm going to say I got this mold either on Wish.com or eBay. That's the best I could tell you. If someone really, really wants to know and can't find it, send me a message or leave a comment, and I will look up under my orders and find you the link for that. That is so adorable. So adorable. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> After what I did stretching my other, taking my other crystal cluster out too soon. Let's see. That really. I mean, that was long. That was probably about that long. And it definitely stretched the epoxy. I used epoxy cast 690 when I did these. I mean, I could even just cut that one off. That's so low down on the base. I could even just cut that one off if it, if I didn't like how it dried. But it is part of the mold, and it is about supposed to be about probably to there. But I stretched it because I took it out too soon. So I'll just deal with that tomorrow. 
it's not a big deal it's just one little casting now for my food grade molds I am going to get some isomalt sugar and I'm going to cast uh, sugar into the food grade molds and show what the crystals look like inside of them because people can't really tell you could sort of get a visual on them with the pictures I took so um, I'm just gonna have to cast inside them and 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 do some sugar crystals and then put them pictures up with them so this is one of my big this is my C mold the letter C. It is a little soon to be taking this out. Um, I don't want to ruin it like I did the other one. Just I gotta get to bed at a decent hour. Okay, it feels like it's coming out. Okay, we're okay. We're good. So that's the C mold, so all I gotta do now is just straighten out my cluster because it's pliable, because it's a little early. So what I used in this one was I had a little bit left of clear, I had a little bit left of the teal, I had a little bit left of the gold, so I was just kind of using up what I had left over. And I had my little mold sitting there so this is what I ended up with so this is the C, C under crystal cluster molds if any of you are familiar I have the big one you'll see it on there it, I have a big one that I started with. That's the top extra large one. That one's about that long. And then I have this guy here that I have to open up. That would be the B one. This is the B one. And then I have I have a couple versions of the C because I was changing the mold around so I have these ones I'm actually going to be selling the resin crystals themselves and then I have uh, two or three molds listed up for this this one this one I was not gonna sell it's a mold that I had a split in half not all the way but halfway down just to be able to get them out so I don't really know if, if someone would have an interest in that but there's only one of those um, so I still have the mold for this. I just have to rebuild it each time. And this can be clipped away, or you could just lay it down in your geodes and build your geodes around that. But that's also listed up. You'll see those under the crystal cluster listings. So let's do this big guy. And it comes out nicely. Now, the original mold, the original mold has, yeah, this is the original mold. has these long ones on it but one of the crystals broke off in the mold and I was repairing it each time and I just decided I'm not going to repair it anymore so this crystal won't be on any future molds this one here sticking out that one's not going to be on there the other ones will be on there but this one's not going to be on there but look how gorgeous. So I'll also be selling the. I'll also be selling these. Resin crystals. I do sell the mold. But I will also be selling. 
the crystals. I haven't figured out what they're going to be yet. But they are B E A U T full. I love them. I just love them. So we'll just have to. I have to wait and see what I'm going to do about those resin ones. So here's the baby one. So the baby, the small, and the medium, which I stretched out like a string of spaghetti, are listed up on the website. And they're sold together. Oops. That's so funny. I can't believe I did that. I should make it. I should curl it. And make it a curly Q. Right? Make it a funky little monkey. I could see that one. I'm going to end up clipping that off. But that was my fault for being impatient and not just wait until tomorrow. So that's... That's what we have there. Where did I put the skull mold? I was going to show the skull mold one more time. But, I, oh, okay. So that's the, the fifth one in the Super Sparkle. So I'm going to fill this one up and fill up my other clusters, these other new clusters here, and let them sit before I hit the hay. So it's LeeCranchCreations.com. You want to check out that website. Um, some, of the, some of them are on sale right now. These the five new super sparkle molds that have been released this week. Um, right now they're 35 till Sunday. They will not be 35 ever again. It's it's just it's just undercutting myself for all my costs. So they'll never be 35 again. But since I you know I wanted some of the people to be able to get these because I know some people have a hard time so I'm hoping they take advantage and get them now while they can because they'll never be 35 again it's not gonna happen I can't afford it so that was my super sale contribution it takes a lot of work to make these and there are my designs and someone's going to buy them and they're going to cast them over and over and over again. So I can't wait to do this one. So when I get done tomorrow, tomorrow night or the next day, whichever it looks like it's going to be cured by, maybe I'll just do some resin in it and then it'll definitely be ready tomorrow. Because the epoxy takes 24 hours. So maybe I'll just do resin in this one for now. Just so I could show it. Sometime tomorrow. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Please subscribe to be in the um, giveaway. Uh, the other requirements were to follow my Instagram. To like my Facebook page. It's all LaCrange Creations. And um, if you could tag your friends 
Um, you could share the giveaway post on the Instagram or the Facebook pages. Uh, there's a video here in YouTube on the giveaway. You're welcome to share that. If you make any videos and mention my channel or tag my channel, that'll get you more entries in. And I'm telling you, there's not more than... I'm going to say there's probably not more than 30, 35 people that I've counted so far that are being entered into this. So your chances are super great. So if you want to get in on it, I'm drawing on the 4th. So, yeah, you're going to get um, what I'm giving away is the mold for this, the sea mold a pair of my handmade earrings and one of my copper wire wrap pendants okay so make something beautiful rock on people ciao